Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. The truth about the crackdown on illegal immigration, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. 23-year-old Daniel Ramirez Mendina, arrested by ICE earlier this month in a Seattle suburb, says he's being brutalized by the Trump administration. His story is fascinating. Mr. Ramirez Medina came here at age seven, the son of an illegal alien criminal named Antonio Ramirez Palendo. There he is. Ramirez Palendo spent a year in a Washington state prison for felony drug trafficking. He was a dealer. In the ICE raid, he was picked up along with his son. But get this, Ramirez Palendo has been deported eight times, yet still was residing outside of Seattle. Would you want someone in your neighborhood deported eight times? We have not heard one, not one, liberal voice commenting on that. Instead, they're focusing on Daniel. In another assault on our values, in the past week we have witnessed ICE raids across our nation urge, uh, targeting parents, students, and a DACA, DACA protected dreamer. The protection Congresswoman Pelosi is talking about was mandated by President Obama. It is called Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA. Essentially, the order says that children brought to America by illegal alien parents and who have no criminal history should be allowed to stay and work here. Daniel Ramirez Medina was part of that program. The problem is the Department of Homeland Security now says he's admitted to having gang affiliations. His attorney denies that. But he has a tattoo on his forearm, which some people believe signifies gang membership. In fact, he's trying to confirm that, but so far we have not been able to do so. It might just be a tattoo with no implications. Now, that gang allegation was enough for ICE to hold Daniel, who has a three-year-old son in this country. But the left has now taken the case and made it a centerpiece of attacks on President Trump's crackdown on criminal illegal aliens. But the anti-Trump crew totally ignores the father, and the son was in the father's home, indicating the left doesn't care at all if a foreign national is deported eight times and is still here. You'll remember the alleged murder of Kate Steinle was deported five times in San Francisco County, still protected him right up until the time the man was arrested and accused of shooting Kate to death. So step back for a moment. One part of the country, led by President Trump, wants to deport criminal illegal aliens and secure the borders so they can't get back in here. Another part of the country doesn't want strict border enforcement and doesn't seem to care that criminals can defy deportation as many as eight times. So what side are you on? One final thing. Every time, and I mean every time, the subject of criminal illegal aliens arises, the Democratic Party will not engage. Instead, they fall back on the ruse that the illegal immigration crackdown is aimed at chambermaids and house painters. You hear that over and over and over. In the case of Daniel Ramirez Mendina, there is certainly enough in play to investigate him further. Is there not? In the case of his father, who again was deported eight times, if Kate's law were passed, he'd be serving decades in a federal penitentiary. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction joining us from Washington, Charles Krauthammer. The word anarchy comes to my mind when I hear a foreign criminal was deported eight times. Am I wrong? Well, look, I think what you have is a case that is pretty clear cut. I don't think there's a lot of ambiguity here. The guy is deported eight times. He was serving, he'd served time for a felony. He was a drug dealer. He's out of here. You apprehend him, you kick him out. And then if he returns, hopefully you pass a law that would criminalize the return, then you throw him in the slammer. The case of the son is more difficult, but it's not a philosophical distinction. It's simply a matter of facts. Either he is a gang member or was, or he's not. The fact is we don't quite know. Either the tattoo is a gang tattoo or it's not. You bring in some experts, you have them look at it, 
as to the question of whether he's confessed or will confess to being a gang member, you bring him in, you question him, you cross-examine him, and you make a determination. That happens in our courts every single day. If he's a gang member, out of here. If he's not, he stays. Okay. If there's ambiguity, and that's what will happen. Then they, if there's ambiguity, you create a category well, he's, where the guy's sort of I'll take a kind of patrol. He's innocent parole. until proven guilty, all right? He's got, you, uh, he's yeah. got enough status. Have him, so you have to prove. Have him come in. Right. Have him come in every six months to a year. After a few years, if his record is clean, then he stays. If he's not, he goes. Okay. This is but not it's a, a bigger hard, picture This here. is not Solomonic. There's a bigger picture here. You heard the demonstrations, okay? Free Daniel. He's now the centerpiece of the left, screaming, Trump is a fascist, anti-immigrant, uh, anti-migrant. Free, free, free Daniel, okay? Where's the sign that says, put Daniel's father in federal prison for defying deportation eight times? Where is that sign, Charles? Look... Where is it? Why are you asking me? This is a movement. This is a whole party. The Democratic okay. Party is invested in allowing Daniel's father, a convicted dope dealer, to stay here to, despite eight deportations. That party is invested in making this man innocent so he can stay. That's anarchy. Look, Bill. I'd be happy to write you a prescription to calm you down. You're not answering this. my question, there Charles. No, You're trying I'm to be a clever kind you. of guy. You're not answering. I'm going to answer you. Good. There's nothing new here. We have had demonstrations well, tell me why they're for doing 25 it then. Tell me 25 why they're years doing it. about a cop killer in Philadelphia who killed a cop, was tried in court, is Mumina, in jail, you're and the free to. will mean of okay, it's still why there. Why are we they have doing it? Had, well, some of the you've got the far left, people who really these are regular don't folks care. out there. These aren't crazy people. Uh, how do you know that? Because have we have reporters them? out there talking to them. The, these the, this isn't George Soros. Get out there. These are people who who actually feel that Trump should not go after criminal illegal aliens. They don't feel that way because they're stalwart you, Democrats. You think that the there's a substantial number of people in America outside of the far left who really don't want to do anything about aliens who have convicted of criminality. You Charles, really think that's Charles, a threat to the country? Charles, are you living in this world? Kate's law was voted down by almost every Democratic senator, okay? If, they, if the party, the folks in the party wanted this problem to be solved, they never would have gotten away with that. But they did. The way to go after this, Bill, I know you're wedded to Kate's law. I know it means a lot to you, and I would support it, but it won't make a dime's worth of difference. You know what will? Sanctuary cities. Well, you want to make both. a difference? You, it doesn't matter. The one you want to do, Kate's law, is nice symbolism. But how about some reality here? You pass a law that says that you cut off the funds, and not just executive order, Let's get a well, law. We assume you cut that off will the happen. funds. We assume that will well, happen. It still doesn't explain that, regular Americans you want to make. not outraged about a guy in Seattle with eight deportations. It still doesn't explain it. And I'm, tr I'm looking for answers. All right, Charles, as always, good okay. debate. Next on the